Okay, I've created the logo here with you. We now want to go and scale and position this guy into our actual layout. Now, before we do, though, I want to show you something really quick here because we worked hard to make this look pretty cool. I think it looks pretty cool anyway. And we have the two strokes, of course, happening on our group inside the appearance panel. We can see that there. But I want to show you something quickly here inside Illustrator's preferences before we actually go and move and position this guy. So if you're on the Mac platform, as I am, head up to your Illustrator menu. If you're on the PC side, the Windows side, head over to your Edit menu and then look for Preferences and then head over to General. Or what you could do is you could hit Command-K here on the Mac or Control-K on the PC. Okay. Now, inside the General Preferences panel, there's an option here that says Scale, Strokes, and Effects. Now, this particular option happens to be one of those options that I find myself constantly either turning on or turning off, depending on what it is that I'm doing. And I really wish there was a keyboard shortcut for it or a toggle button somewhere in the interface, because I'm constantly coming in here and either turning this guy on or shutting him off. So make sure that this guy is turned on, if you would, and then go ahead and click on OK. And essentially what that means, by the way, is now if I hold down shift and scale my logo smaller, it's going to scale the stroke weights that we've set here proportionally with the logo. If you want to see what happens when you don't have that option turned on, go ahead and hit undo and then head back into your preferences, turn it off and try scaling the logo and you'll see exactly what happens. Okay. So what I'm now going to do is I'm just going to zoom out here a little bit. I'm going to move over into my layout, grab my logo. And of course, I want to go and position this guy up, right? So let's see. I'm going to get rid of this logo placeholder, get rid of that guy, and then grab my group and position this guy up. Now, again, the actual positioning that you'll want to use is entirely up to you. Maybe I'll have the bottom edge of the K overlapping into my, my navigation menu. That's an old design trick, kind of a neat visual that you can use on your designs there if you want. I can use the guide on the left-hand edge to line up the edge of my logo there if I wish as well. These are all optional things that you can certainly make use of if you like. I'm going to zoom all the way out by hitting Command or Control-0, and I'm going to hit Command or Control-Semicolon to shut off my guides as well. And that gives me sort of a bird's eye view of my layout. Looks pretty cool. I'm really liking that logo. But instead, what I'll do is I'll hit Command or Control 1. And don't forget, that will set my zoom to 100%. Do you remember that from earlier? So now I can get a sense of how the logo might look inside an actual web browser, right? I'm sure you remember that conversation. So at this stage of the game, you might want to take your logo. You may want to increase your stroke weights a little bit or you might want to decrease them. You might want to sit here and fiddle for a minute. Maybe I'll wind up with something like that. Or actually, that looks pretty cool. Nice and heavy black outline. That looks great. I think I'm going to stick with that. But anyway, you get the idea. You might want to fiddle around and play for a moment until you get exactly what it is that you're after.